Hey man, so I got a real quick video for y'all. And before we get into this video, I just want to say, if you made it to this video and you watch right now, I appreciate you. I mean, checking my channel out and uh, I hope you enjoy it. We are in class, and um, I don't know if you've seen any of my other videos, but you can check them out. Um, in one of my other videos, I was talking about how I'm getting close to a thousand hours, and uh, once you hit a thousand hours, you can take your written exam um, here in the state of Texas. So, our, one of our great instructors, Brad, you know, he's a great instructor, and he helps us out all the time, and he thought of a great idea of pretty much a uh, 13 week review of um, leading up to a thousand hours. So uh, in this video, he's going over some of the material that's going to be on the written exam and some of the material that we went over in the class and uh, pretty much quizzing us on what we remember and throwing out questions and answers and pretty much just refreshing us and trying to get us prepared for what's to come. So without further ado, check out this video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe for me. Um, and walk with your boy on this journey. I appreciate y'all watching. Hey. Well, let's wait a few moments. See if I can show up. I think Ruben, the guy who just cut my hair. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I appreciate you doing this for us, Brad. Yes, this is sir. really kind. I'm taking time out of my very packed and important schedule. Very busy. Yes. I know. I know. Alright. So, so you got two pieces of paper. One is off the of PSI online. And the other one is a um, copy of some stuff. Let's look at the one that's from PSI online. Who signed up for PSI yet? I have, have not. Anybody else signed up? You have? Nope. Uh, if you haven't, there's instructions on how to sign up um, on PSI. Um, the second page follows through entering in your email address. Hey, can I have a pin? Password. Um, this is pin? how you're going to log in on PSI. And this is how you're going to sign sign up for your well, test, cool. pay for I your just test. Need to all that fun stuff. So before you can even sign up for the written exam, you need to go to PSI exams. So um, let's see. And the fee for the written is going to be $52 every time. So if you don't pass, you're going to have to re, um, repay every single time. The first time it's free, though? No. <laughs> <laughs> free? And, hell no. Yeah. Nothing in the night is free. So $52 every time, and then uh, what about for the practical? Is it the same price? Practical $74. Oh, okay. All practical right. $74. So um, now let's get to this other page here. Um, this page comes off of, I believe it's your last page. Yeah. It's basically copied off the last page of the candidate bulletin. And what this does is this organizes how many questions are dealing with what subject matter. So we can look at the first, this is sanitation, disinfection, sterilization, and safety. Is 29.5% of the exam. So sanitation equals, might as well, 30%. So that's a third of the whole exam is just on the sanitation portion. Okay. Um, next in percentage-wise, we have shaving. It's on the back. And it's 17.5, might as well be 18%, of the exam with 15 questions. 
Okay, and then next we have hair cutting. At 15%. Then it goes down, let's see where else we got. The chemical at 12%. Hair color at 11%. So what does that do? Uh, shampooing licensing regulations. So as we look at these as percentages, we can rate what's the most important and what we need to study the most of, because that's what's going to be the majority of the text. So, yes, sir? Is that uh, based on examples of the test, or that's like strictly every single test? That's every test they pull percentages. Okay. Like they this. just change the questions themselves. Right, there's a big pool of questions that they can take from. So not so if you take the test four times in a row, you're probably going to get four different tests. Okay. So we can look first at sanitation. It's 25 questions. So 25 questions out of sanitation. It's going to be dealing with cleaning and disinfecting of implements, equipment, and work environment, sanitary and safety procedures, pathogens of bacteria, skin and scalp, and hair disorders. Do y'all remember what chapter was sanitation was on? Chapter five. Chapter five. So as reviewing, you need to hit chapter five. You need to be on it. Okay, I would advise you to study chapter five, get the chapter test of chapter five, and retake it. Okay, okay that's to the see biggest how one. You do. Since we know that the majority of these questions come from that chapter. Okay. Disinfection, sterilization, and safety, almost all of that comes from chapter five. Um, sanitary and safety procedures, that's gonna be chapter five. Pathogens and bacteria, now that can dip into microbiology. Uh, I'm sorry? Uh, no, I believe it's chapter four. Four is microbiology. Yeah, so pathogens and bacteria. And uh, what they're going to be asking there is uh, probably what's the most common pus-forming uh, microorganism? What is that one? Staphylococci. Staphylococci. I definitely want to know that. Mm. Okay. Um, sanitary and safety procedures. Um, I would need to know um, about a wet sanitizer. What goes in a wet sanitizer? Okay, a, what type of solution? Chemical solution. Okay, a disinfectant, yeah. chemical solution, disinfectant uh, solution. Okay, S skin, scalp, and hair disorders. That's going to be chapter uh, 10 through 12. And we're going to deal with what type of skin and scalp disorders can you think of? Okay, scabies, also known as what's. Uh, no, scabies is a is an animal parasite. But there's scabies. What else is there? Dandra? Are are we talking about? Well, scabies can be anywhere. You can no, have but it's not a skin, skin a bit, a scalp bit. condition or anything. It's a, it comes on the skin, right? The yeah, it's not really. A I'm skin. saying, yeah, are we talking about cure? Uh, uh, psoriasis is one. It's a, Psoriasis it's a is a skin disease. I'm kind of link, looping it all together because yeah. that's going to all be in the same kind of disorders. Okay, yeah. I was about to say, we're talking about that. disorders and stuff because, you know, I know somebody with psoriasis. We, that's not, um, yeah, that's a disorder, right? Mm -hmm. But it's not 
yeah, contagious. No, oh, okay. But it's studied in the same chapters. Okay. That whole 10, 11, 12 deals with, you know, dandruff to itch mites to, you know, tinea. Lights. You know, all yeah. that's covered in the same in the same chapters there. Okay, and we'll go back and go over some of the more important questions over this, but we're gonna run through this real quick. So next is shaving. And shaving, we have preparation. What's